on other fields, on other days. That's the primary charge for the cadets of Army. But on this field, the seeds planted by the likes of Davis, Blanchard, and Dawkins certainly have produced victory. Welcome to Mikey Stadium at West Point, home of the Black Knights of the Hudson. Today, two teams get set to square off in an interconference battle in the AAC. As we'll see, the Rice Owls taking on the Army Black Knights. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollack and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. The Black Knights will boot it away to start the game. On the move from inside is five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. So Rice's offense takes the field for the first time today. And this guy feels like a throwback. Back in the day, the running backs were always the stars. This guy fits that mold. And he can do a lot of different things, too. He's not a one-trick pony. This guy can tote the rock. He can catch the ball. He can block. You might even see him throw the ball in this game. This is a jack-of-all-trades. And you hear about run blitzes. This is exactly what a run blitz is. When you know the ball's coming up the middle, you want to bring those linebackers, get them closer to the line of scrimmage, and fire. Right when the ball snapped, he's coming downhill, doing a good job creating the loss. That linebacker really knew what was going on. He'll be stopped just short of the 20 at the 19. Give him one. You know, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered up. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. Unloads to the wideout. Got his man downfield. Flying down the left side. He's at the 10. And he takes it all the way. They couldn't stop him. Touchdown, Rice. That is how you get your playmaking wide receiver in the game early. First series, they scripted this. They want to get him the football. They get him the football, and he does the rest. Gets the big touchdown on the opening drive of the game. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they top it off by going up top, 81 yards on the touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. And he takes this from inside the five running through contact. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Cadets offense will have its first possession of the game. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play while well, they immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. Tried to pound it on first down, now back to the line. On the option. Brought down at the 31 after a pickup of 10 yards on that one. I love it, what a play call. Going to the fullback in the running game and he shows you that he's got some ability. This guy was a big time high school running back and he shows you the wiggle. He's got some ability to break tackles and he helps his offense out. It's first and 10 from the 31. Give to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. They tried to run the counter, but absolutely nothing doing. And those counter plays take a little longer to develop sometimes. You're usually pulling one or two guys, and that penetration in the backfield can kill you, can get to the running back before he gets started. 
Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Here comes the option. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. I think a lot of quarterbacks like those defenses that will be passive and let you let it slowly develop. Nah, this defense, you could tell, they were aggressive and attacking, and it really paid off. They've made third down offense a key. It'll be tested on third and long from the 28. He's looking downfield to throw. Puts him in the spin cycle. And he's able to bounce off one tackle for a solid pickup. They allowed the completion, but this defense was swarming to keep them away from that first down line. Yeah, and you allow completions in those third down situations underneath the sticks, and you come up and rally, and everybody flies to the football. That's great execution by this defense. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. A fair catch called for and made. Rice has the ball back, and they're ready to send the offense back to the field. Jesse, a very productive drive last time wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. We'll see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. Starting this drive like that is exactly what they had hoped for now, first and 10 from the 40. Might as well give it to him again. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. I know the passing game sells and the passing game is exciting, but it's not exciting to get five or six yards a pop on the ground, but it will be very successful. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. They go to the ground. And he'll find enough running room to get it just short of midfield at the 49. I think they called that knowing they weren't going to hit a home run. So why would you call it that? Well, you call it so third down becomes an easier down. It's not third and long where I have to pass the football. Now all options on the table. Offense breaks the huddle on third down. They'll try to run for it. Still running at the 40. He'll work his way down to the 28. What a great run there. On third and one situation, though, David, that has got to be demoralizing for a defense because they were packed up close to the line of scrimmage, expecting run on that one. They're playing aggressive, but great offenses have the ability in predictable situations like third and one to get first downs. Rice rushes to the line. Fast motion from the offense. They'll switch it up here and look to throw. And the quarterback is toast back at the 35. But when it's a play-action pass, that quarterback, he really has to sell the fake. He can't tell his offensive lineman's getting beat right away while he's selling the fake. He had no shot. really need to pick up some yardage this time on second and long. The give out of the gun. Relying on that running game, and it works for about three yards to the 31. Yeah, and the running back didn't get much here, but, you know, you clearly want to always establish the tempo, run the football, be consistent, make that defense physically meet the challenge. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, you'll need to push it downfield. Oh, and he dropped it. He had a touchdown right in his hands and couldn't hang on. It'll be fourth down. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus. And the critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there, when it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. You've got to be able to make that play. And on fourth down, they'll try to put three on the board. Knocked it right through, showing that big range from 48 yards out.
So the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal. Let's see what the defense can do. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The cadets have it back as Army goes back on offense. It'll be a draw. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And they sniff that draw out. With a draw, you know, you really have to sell that pass like you're going to throw the ball down the field. But the defensive line, the defense was not biting it. You could tell they were ready for it. Came, got on the running back, got him on the ground quick, fast, and in a hurry. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13 on the option. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Great job staying home by the defense there. Offense trying to go option. The QB keeps it, but you see the great assignment football. Everybody's staying where they're supposed to be, and they're able to rally to the quarterback and tackle him for a loss. Backing up and backing up on the first two plays. Now to try to throw it in drive on third down. They're setting up the screen, and maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. They'd hope to get him in space, create running room, and there just wasn't anything there. Yeah, I love the third down aggressive, in-your-face defense, not giving you any room to run down the field. Great job by the defense. They saw the throw, the quick pass, reacted to it, got him on the ground for a loss. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Just needs a crack to get a return. That's a perfect example of not settling for a fair catch. Pick up whatever yardage you can and help out the offense. Comes out throwing on first down. Working the middle. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. Hey, it's important on offense in the passing game. You've got to have balance. And I mean, you've got to be able to attack different thirds of the field. You've got to work the perimeter to both sides. You've got to let the defense know, too, that you're not afraid to go over the middle. They did right there. They'll try it over the left side. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Going to work in the red zone, they can pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Takes the handoff, it's Connors. Relying on that running game inside the red zone, he picked up three to the 11. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. To the air, it's Warner. They're bringing heat. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. Yeah, and third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range. They can take the three points on the board. It's fourth down, and they'll try the field goal. The field goal is no good. Lead is still at double digits, but missed a chance to make it bigger. Well, that's one the kicker would like to have back. That's a kick he should be making in his sleep. Army has it back in the offense, ready to go. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here, Palmer. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. Still sitting at their own 20 after that last one. Here's second and 10. Into the pile, maybe got one. He stopped at the 21. 
You know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. And as the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into longer runs. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Sends it downfield. It's complete. A huge pickup. Touchdown, Army! He broke away from the defense, and they couldn't catch him. Man, oh, man, when you got a weapon like that, you got to find him, and you got to give him the ball in space. You have some plays on your play sheet, and some of them just say, that guy, get him the ball, let him do the rest. Dangerous weapon out of the backfield, catching the football, making the big play. Let's see if they can roll snake eyes in a good way and get the deuce. Looking downfield, it's Daly. Looking for an open area to his left. He'll get into the end zone, and the two-pointer is successful. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And the score comes with a quick strike up top, covering 79 yards. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Looks like he's going to try to return it. Stopped at the 17, and he's probably second-guessing that return. Rice takes over the Owls, ready to get that offense cooking again. Off play action on first down. And the quarterback goes down at the 11-yard line. The defense just simply not fooled by the play action. Oftentimes, the offense, you're hoping the run fake's going to slow down those pass rushers, but man, oh man, they had their ears pinned back. After getting nothing done on the last one, this is a big play, second and long from the 11. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. Good pick up on the ground there. Give him five to the 16-yard line. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, back up inside their 20. Got him downfield. Such a big part to convert these third downs, and they've got it at the 42. Man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that, and now the defense is really on its heels. Rice rushes to the line. Leaves it with the back. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. And you want to run the football. That's okay. You'll take some of these. But if they start to add up down the road, obviously you might want to think about airing it out a little bit. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Rides to the back. into the open and finally out of bounds after an explosive run by this ball carrier come on defense you cannot let this offense run the dive play and hurt you like that up front we got to do a better job staying in our gaps and linebackers have got to be able to get off of blocks and make tackles this rice offense has a nice looking drive going From the red zone, looking for a space. Buys a little extra time. A really nice run and gain, and he gets down to avoid taking punishment. You know, QBs want to make those big plays. They want, to, they want to put up the big stats, but when nothing's there, sometimes you just tuck the ball, get a minimal gain. I like the slide, by the way, too. Get down and don't take a big hit. The Owls have it in scoring position on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. 
They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, this defense obviously knows they have to be able to stop the run now in the second half if they're going to win this game. And you wonder if they were able to make some tweaks and some adjustments at halftime, maybe getting some more bodies close to the line of scrimmage to give themselves a chance to come back in this game. Can the defense stop them again on second and goal? Quick pass on the fly motion. And he's going to take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Rice. Defense has to be better on the back end. They knew this offense was going to come out, and they were going to challenge them. They were going to try to push the ball vertically down the field. They've now given up two touchdown passes in this game. They have got to shore up their play in the back half. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25. He's brought down at the 26. The cadets have it back as Army goes back on offense. Jesse looking to take it down the field for back-to-back -back touchdowns. I think it's really important for them moving forward, too, to have a lot of balance, right? You want to be able to keep this defense guessing, Paul. Yeah, and you got me searching for answers after that last drive. You stack another drive on top of this, their defense's heads are going to be spinning all over the place. And on second down for this offense. He'll ride his man on the option. Just working and poking and prodding and finding his way up to the 36. Listen, I know that's not a huge game, but those run plays add up. They make you tackle the back every single play. Physically, you have to get some guy on the ground. It takes its toll throughout a fourth quarter game. Trying to move the sticks on third down. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. That just never had a chance as they controlled the middle of the field and stopped him in the backfield on third down. Well, that was just like trying to run through a traffic jam. No place for the big fella to go. Yeah, that's the whole key, Reese. You can't let the big fella get some steam. So you got to stop him in his tracks right away. The only way you do that is with penetration up front. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Perhaps feeling that coverage coming signals for the fair catch and makes it at the 25. On the ground, it's Connors. Oh, he gave him a dead leg. They've got him down at the 40 after he ripped off 15 yards. We're through one, and what a back-and-forth battle between these two quarterbacks as we look at the stats. They've switched into the field, and we're ready to get things started here in the second. After that big gainer to open things up, they'll put it in play from the 40. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Maybe that stop is a good sign for this defense. Maybe the defense is starting to figure it out. Obviously, offense has been running the football with so much success. Something has to change. That was a good start. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. He'll keep it himself. Turns it on in midfield. Makes the tackle at the 46, but it's a 15-yard gain to get them into plus territory. There's an example of the offense taking advantage of all the attention the defense is giving this outstanding running back. Remember, he's one of the best in the game. They're expecting him to get the football. So the quarterback says, you know what? I'll just keep it. No one's keying on me. I'm going to get upfield and find an explosive play. The RPO fire complete to the left. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. And that RPO play was run to perfection. The run fake forced and sucked the defense up, and a nice job on the route by the receiver, not telegraphing that he was breaking to the inside on the slant. 
After trying the running game, let's see if they do it again on second down. Hand off from the gun. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chains. Well, the offense is in a really nice rhythm right now. It seems like no matter what they're dialing up, they're getting positive yards. And it just feels so good as a play caller when you know on first down, you can get yards like that turning around and handing it off. Yeah, and on the other side, you're scratching your head going, what the heck can I do here? you got to find something. The defense has got to find a way to create some momentum. Whatever they're doing right now, it's not working. So you got to keep going through that play sheet and maybe find something a little bit different that can give this offense something to think about. You know, and that's why this guy can play first, second, and third down. You've already seen him earlier in the drive rip off some nice runs, but he can catch the football as well. And they're going to find ways to get him going in all sorts of ways, but you're seeing it specifically on this drive. Looking for space. It's Connors. He rolls all the way down to the five-yard line before they finally get him stopped. Another good run. Man, he has been picking up yards in bunches today. Jesse showing off all the skills. And he's showing no signs of slowing down, David. This guy just gets better as the game goes on. He is a beast. And the Owls trying to get a touchdown on first and goal. Back to throw. It's Warner. And he got a hand in there. Knocks it away incomplete. Well, I know that one fell incomplete, but what a day this guy's had throwing the football. Multiple touchdowns, and he's done a really nice job with his decision-making. Hasn't thrown any picks, which has really helped keep this offense on schedule. They'll try to dial up a better one this time on second and goal from the five. He's looking to throw. It's complete to the right, and he's wrestled to the ground. This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in pre-snap. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly. And that's why he seems like he's in a great rhythm right now. The pressure ramps up on third and goal. From the gun, wants to pass. Snag in the end zone. Touchdown, Owls. Yeah, and you look for the big fellas down here in the red zone. You want to run the football. You want to be physical. And then you play action, and you got the big target. Throw it up to him. He does the rest with the soft hands and getting the touchdown. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point extends the lead to 16. They put together a 74-yard touchdown drive. And they closed it going up top for the final few inches in the score. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Army has it back in the offense ready to go. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, David. I think up front, they got to do a better job getting blocks and establishing this running game. And how easy does football become if you're the more physical team? If you can threaten the run and then, then run play action, it opens up the whole offense at your disposal. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. Good, solid tackle. I know that wasn't a big, huge play, and everybody's not excited, and the fans aren't going crazy, but those are the plays that in the fourth quarter matter a lot. Again, making you tackle my back, making you feel the physicality of the football game throughout so you get tired and get worn down in the fourth quarter. Here they come, trying to convert a third and short from the 28. Give to the fullback. Really nice job there to pick up the first down and get it to their own 41. And here we go. If you're an offense, you've got to get that ground game going so you can have some balance, and then you give it to your quarterback, Palmer, and let him make some plays down the field later on. Yeah, exactly. And you know, coming into this game, this offense knew they were going to have to some way, somehow, at least establish a semblance of a running game for exactly what you just said. You've got to be able to use play action pass later in this game to get some explosive plays down the field. And it's a play like that that we just saw, which can help them get that going. Ah, 
Offense gets set for second down. Now on the option. And gang tackling on this dude is a good idea. They needed it, but he still got the first down. Well, that's just on the defense. I'm sorry. Fullbacks are not supposed to be able to rip off big runs like that. The defense, they better do a better job tackling as this game goes on. And the Black Knights are moving quickly down the field. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. The give, and he's looking for room behind the left tackle. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains, and when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. The big pickup on first down leaves them with second and one. The option look. The Black Knights will have a first down. And you got to throw the fullbacks a bow on occasion, okay? Those dudes have one of the worst jobs on the field. Always blocking every single play, down in, down out. When you get those situations, you can give them the ball, give them a bone, reward them for all of his hard work. And the Black Knights with the first and ten. Looking for a crease, it's Robinson. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one. Somehow, it's second and seven. Small gain, I know, but again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him onto the run game. you got to do a lot of this. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. They'll run the option. The pitch. And not much doing there as that defense runs him out of bounds. I think that was an example of the offensive coordinator trying to help out his quarterback. He's trying to keep these third downs manageable. You know, you throw the ball on second down and it's incomplete. Now you've set up third and long, and now you're set up to fail. They probably feel good about their field goal chances from the 29, but they'd love to convert this third and short. Quarterback on the keeper. They thought they could just run it on third and short, but this defense was there to make the stop. They'll take a pass on the 46-yard field goal, try and go for it on fourth down. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. Deep shot for the end zone. And it's caught! Touchdown, Black Knights! How about that quarterback taking the shot downfield and delivering to the wide open receiver? I love this quarterback, Reese, because he's aggressive. He wants to take shots. He's looking for every opportunity to show off that cannon and that arm talent. He showed it to all of us right there. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. So it's an 80-yard drive, and they cover the final 29 yards with that touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Rice has the ball back, and they're ready to send the offense back to the field. After standing on the sideline and watching that long touchdown drive, they really need to put something together to give their defense a rest. And that's a real thing, man. Like, you, you played a lot of plays, you get worn out. You need a chance to go decompress on the sideline, get some oxygen. Palmer, now it's on this offense. Yeah, this is the definition of complementary football because it's a two-pronged problem. You've got to score points and answer, but you've also got to take your time and give your defense an opportunity to get their win. Second down coming up. From the shotgun, the inside give. Sweet feet on the move. Moves it out to the 34-yard line. A nice 15-yard gain on that one. 
And in this game, this guy has shown you why he's one of the best in the country. He has so much ability at the running back position. Speed, quickness, the ability to break tackles, unbelievable vision. Already now with 150 yards rushing, the defense has no answer for him. They've got to find a way to slow this guy down. Still on his feet at the 45. Huge plays like that can change the complexion of a game, and he's got it at the 22-yard line. That was just an open alley for that back. I don't think he was touched once before the tackle. So he wouldn't even been down in two-hand touch? No. Rice rushes to the line. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. This defense obviously knows they've got to be able to stop the run if they're going to win this football game. And you wonder if they've been able to make some tweaks and adjustments to try and take this running back away. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. They've been running it, but now the pass. Fires deep toward the end zone. And he's got it. Who gives a hoot? The Owls do. It's a touchdown. Effective offense leading the way here and establishing this lead. And that's how you draw it up, right? You want to come out, be clicking early, get everything going. Want to get all the facets rolling. The defense right now on their heels. They have no answers. The offense doing whatever they want. Lining up for the PAT. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they finish things up with a dart from 24 yards out. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the move from inside is five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The cadets have it back as Army goes back on offense. There's certainly still a hill to climb, but they've got to make sure these drives pay off. Got a touchdown last time. Hit the afterburners, kid. They'll get it to the 48. No need to measure. It's a first down. The Black Knights of the Hudson using surgical precision in this quarterback run game. Yeah, and you're not talking about surgical precision in the passing game. That, that's not what Army does. They want to run the football. When you sign up as a QB to play at Army, you know that. You better be able to do it. You could see the run there. On the option. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. After trying the running game on first down, they come to the line on second down. Running back goes in motion. They'll run the option. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. Well, this offense came into the game knowing they wanted to be physical, they wanted to establish the line of scrimmage, and they're running downhill right at this defense, and they're churning out positive yardage early. Big play to start the drive, a little tougher sense. Now a crucial third down on this drive. Goes to the option. And that ball's free behind the line. Well, the offense looks as if they fell on the fumble, and they'll keep the ball. Well, the offense is able to avoid disaster right there. Problem is they fumbled it, but thankfully they were able to jump back on and not have a turnover. The Black Knights will call on their punt team. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. Rice takes over the Owls, ready to get that offense cooking again. 
This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offensively have been able to go out and execute, David. Yeah, and it's just maintaining the lead. Keep doing what you've been doing. You got a big lead. Let's just keep piling it on until they find an answer. Now on second down. Now the play fake. And that's going to fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. Well, the quarterback knew he wanted to go to his tight end on that play. He's a big physical target, but it was the hit on the play that forced the incompletion. So they're facing third and short from the 25. They'll try to bully their way for the first. They were all over him, nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. Nice play by the defense, but now is a time they've got to be more consistent. They allowed this running back to go off in that first half, and moving forward now, they've got to try and take this running back away. Rice will be forced to send out the punt unit. First time we've seen their punt team this afternoon. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. Army has it back in the offense, ready to go. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. Picked up some yardage on the ground. Now here comes second down. On the option. Pretty good effort on that one to work his way up to the 42. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this thing has been one-sided, and they hope to at least have something to feel good about going into halftime. When you've already sent your punter out four times, at least he knows he's going to get his varsity letter, and his leg might get a bigger workout if they don't convert. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. Getting some heat. They get to him as he throws. Complete downfield. Plenty of room on that play, and they find their way to the 36. Man, it's so nice to have a quarterback who doesn't flinch. You watch it, man. He's hanging in there, right? Hanging in there. Takes some time for those routes to get down the field. Gets hit as he throws it, but delivers the ball, a catchable ball down the field, and makes the big play. Nice toughness by that young man. Looking to throw, it's Daly. He uncorks one deep. And this is dropped. Incomplete pass. He had a huge gain in his fingers, and he couldn't hold on. Good awareness by the defense. In this situation on the field, you know there's coordinators that like to try to take shots deep down the field and catch a napping, but the defense was ready for that one. After the incompletion, looking at second down. He's looking to throw. He's got his man. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. Yeah, this is simple pitch and catch. Quarterback and wide receiver have done this four million times in the offseason. He catches, waits for him to take a couple steps, boom, fires it right on his chest. They can complete this probably with their eyes closed. They've ran this route so many times together. And the defense gets home and makes a play at the 37-yard line. We're only in the first half already. This guy's got two TD passes. So you could see the defensive coaching staff on the sideline telling this D-line, guys, we got to get after this guy. We have to affect his rhythm and not let him be so comfortable back there. Right there, they were able to get after him. Let's see if they can keep it up. And the Black Knights decide to punt it away. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. Able to keep them from getting a return, and the ball goes out of bounds. They're going to mark it right around the 20. Rice has the ball back, and they're ready to send the offense back to the field. They'll start this drive with a pass. Right on the money to the outside. He dragged the toe, and how about the ball placement? Only the receiver could get it. 
The magic bean is spinning out of control. Already over 200 yards in the first half. Yeah, they're being aggressive offensively, throwing the football, trying to take advantage of this defense on the back end. They've got their quarterback right now in a group. Looking for a man. It's Warner. Got his man in the middle. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. It's a nice job running the in route there by the receiver. And the best thing he did after he made his break, he didn't trail and fade away. He actually attacked the football. That's a good lesson for young receivers out there watching. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, who's had a better seat there in West Point for an entertaining first half than you? It's been a fun start to this one. And this offense has really been the story. They've opened up a sizable lead. And unless something drastic changes, things might get even more out of hand. A combination of lethal efficiency. And that offensive line has been the key. They've mauled that defense and also just about broken their will. And with that, let's send it back to the guys along the banks of the Hudson inside venerable Mikey Stadium. Rice ready to kick off and get things started here in the second half. And he takes this from inside the five. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. The cadets have it back as Army goes back on offense. Trailing by a couple of scores, they'd like to generate some confidence here early in the third quarter. Down two possessions, the coaching staff met in at halftime, and they've probably scripted this opening drive, just like they do at the start of the game. They've now got an idea of what plays they feel most confident in, what plays their quarterback is seeing the best to go out here and execute a scoring drive. Well, and it's nice to get the ball first. Like, I got the first opportunity to close the gap a little bit, apply some great game pressure to these guys. So I think getting the ball first, driving down, scoring right here will be huge he will step out of bounds but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense man i want to be a running back in this offense when you take that hand off to the right you see that blocking and all the holes open up that's a good sight for a running back you've heard of read and react i think the defense read it they just didn't react very well well when you got that kind of a line just all that push they're getting on that right side they just pushed the defensive lineman back, got in the linebacker's laps, and man, oh, man, it was, it was brutal up front. Great job at contained by this defense. And in order to do that, the end man on the line of scrimmage defensively has got to be able to set the point and force the football back into traffic. And that's exactly what happened. They got nothing on the last play at second and 10. Pre-snap motion in the backfield. And he finds some solid space, makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop him. Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive game, making your situation really good on the next down. And this offense is desperate to keep this drive alive, trailing by multiple possessions, and it's getting late. Runs through the tackle. And the defense knew exactly where that first down line was, and they stopped him short. The Black Knights will punt it away on fourth down. And these guys have been busy. Sixth punt of the day. And the punt hits ground in the two and goes into the end zone. He just missed, pinning them right in the shadow of the goalpost. It'll come out to the 20. Looking for room. It's Connors. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Great play by the defense there. And listen, they got to do more of this. Running backs obviously had a lot of success. They got to continue to stop this run game, be physical, and not let this guy beat him. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Looking to pass. It's Warner. He's got it down the middle. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. 
it's so important that this offense is able to stay on schedule. And what that means is keeping third downs manageable. That last completion to the tight end accomplished just that. Really nice play call. They'll try to muscle their way forward on third and short from the 29. They'll try to get the first through the air. Finds his man down the middle. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. Third and short, and I guess the only thing they really took out of play in the shotgun was the quarterback sneak. Yeah, and that's kind of what I like to do, Reese. I mean, third and inches, I, I want to run the quarterback sneak, run the football, but this team fully comfortable throwing the football, and you see why. Easy pitch, easy catch, first down. From the gun, the running back looking for room. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. Dumps it to the back. Snagged on the outside. It's Connors. He's out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for the first down. Guys out of the backfield now, it's not just run the ball downhill anymore. you got to be versatile. i got to be able to trust you in the pass game, and i got to be able to throw you the football, and you can do that right there. I know you're going to catch it, and I can depend on you. On the run, it's Connors. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. Got a little work done on first down, now back to the line. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. This has the makings of a good drive. The seventh play brings up a third and four. To the air, it's Warner. On the move and looking deep. And it's caught inside the 20. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. And a big reason why this team has the lead in this game is because of plays like that. They know they've got firepower throwing the ball. They've got the dudes outside that can make things happen. You saw it in the first half, and you see it here again early in the third quarter. Here's the handoff. Powers through. He bullies his way all the way down to the five-yard line. This defense has got to get better at tackling in the open field or gang tackling because if you need three or four guys to bring a guy down, <laughs> have fun with that. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. He's looking to throw. Let's it go to the end zone. Had it in his hands for the score and let it fall to the turf. It'll be third down. Ball hasn't hit the ground a lot for this QB. He's already thrown four TD passes. He saw a look, wanted to take another shot, and that time they just fall short with the incompletion. But this defense, they have not had the answer with respect to defending the pass in this game. They turn to the passing game on third and short. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. Really nice job by the defense, playing aggressive, understanding it could be a running situation, but still playing disciplined enough to play the pass and be successful on that third and short. Here comes the field goal unit. Neil boot one from the right hash. He ought to be able to navigate that angle from this distance. Thought he had it and couldn't get it through the upright. He missed it. And despite the missed field goal, guys, there's a bright side. They're still up by 16. Well, that's now the second missed field goal for this kicker. And I'll tell you this, you can't blame the weather for all this. This is a beautiful day. He needs to do better executing these field goals. Army has it back in the offense, ready to go. Looking for a productive play on first down. 
It's a draw. Found a little bit of running room, knocked down at the 24 after a pickup of four. Solid pickup of four on first down at second and six. Scanning the field, it's Daly. Finds a tight end. Moves up to the 34-yard line, give him a 10-yard pickup. Ever since they invented the forward pass, the tight ends have been running the drag and getting the first down. I think it's because the tight ends, is so much versatility. You know, they can block and stay in the formation, or they can release and come out. But either way, if the quarterback's patient, most of the time, that drag route's going to come open. The gift to the fullback. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. They'll line up for a second down play. Here comes the option. And the defense makes the stop after a minimal gain. down and this offense is already in a world of trouble they could really use a conversion not to mention multiple scores fires to the wide out a beautifully placed ball to the outside and the toe drag for the big pickup well look that wasn't a touchdown but that was a massive play for this offense they needed some momentum they needed to find a rhythm and what better way than converting on third down awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression and the Black Knights have their offense in high gear. On the option. He'll toss it. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. He'll ride his man on the option. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. They've started a pretty good drive. This will be the seventh play, but they need to convert third and five. Now on the option. And they're able to get a third down stop here. See if they go for it on fourth. The Black Knights line up to punt it away. Make sure that there's not going to be a return on this one. Ball's out of bounds, and I think they'll mark it right around the 25. Leaves it with the running back. Not much doing there. He gets it to the 26, a gain of one. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Right back to the well. Shakes off the tackle. Forges ahead. Picks up about three to the 29. Ball's at the 29. Defense can taste getting off the field. It's third and long. Back to pass. It's Warner. Throws to the wideout. He's got an open man. And he is marked out of bounds after another big game. This aerial attack has had no problem moving the ball with chunk plays. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play. And you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. Rice rushes to the line.
from the gun. They'll try to impose their will. And this one will be stopped for no gain. No doubt, offense wants to keep running the football to win this game, but I'm wondering if they're starting to go to the well too often. they got to start showing some new wrinkles here in the second half. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. From the gun, running back on the move. Stopped just inside the 30 at the 29. It's a 10-yard pickup and a first down. I think Jesse and Reese could call offensive plays for any team if they're having this much success on the ground. It starts with the ground game, right? Like, you can chew up these kind of plays. Then I can play action later on and take shots. But right now, defense has first got to stop the run game that's been chewing them up. Fires toward the end zone. And they couldn't make the connection on the long shot. This quarterback is having a day, man. And right there, he was looking for touchdown pass number five. He has been dialing it up. He's been throwing strikes. We haven't seen him miss very much like he did just there. But what a game this dude is having. Second and ten after the previous play. Off play action. Looking to the big tight end. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. He's there to make the stop, but not before he sets up this offense first and goal from the seven. I'll tell you, this quarterback has just been in a great rhythm all game long. With that last completion, he's now over 300 yards passing. Let's see if Rice can get it in on first and goal. Used the play fake, now to throw. Fires into the end zone. Touchdown, Owls! And the punishment has been extended. A score for the big fella here. Why are tight ends so effective in the red zone? Well, these aren't the guys that are going to burn by you and go for 70 most of the time. But when you can use their big body frames, threaten them to run the football and be a blocker in the running game, and now you slip them in the secondary, make that big play. Ready to try the point after. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. They put together a 74-yard touchdown drive, and they close the deal with the seven-yarder for the score. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And here's the return. And the return man is stopped, and that'll leave it up to the offense on the next drive. Line gets set, first down. The back goes in motion. The option look. And they try the middle of this stout defense, and they rise to the challenge. Now it's second and 10 from the 15. Reading the option, it's Daly. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Yeah, and it's a nice job by this defense. Understand, listen, that QB is a threat. And they're going to run all kinds of options, and he's going to run the football. They were dialed in and got that sucker in the ground. Guys, this offense is already reeling down. Multiple possessions really need to cash in on this drive. Looking to throw, it's Daly. He's got the back in the middle. And they wrap him up, but not before he's got enough for the first down. Nice job by the running back catching the football and understanding where the first down marker was. I got to go get that first down. He did a nice job of it. And the Black Knights will snap it on first and ten. He'll do it himself. Banging, slithering, whatever it takes to get that ball up to the 32. Nice job there by the QB on the zone read because he's watching the D lineman and he knows he has to keep the football and then he right away takes it upfield to get some positive yards. Win with the running game on first down, now back at it. They'll run the option. Not the biggest play in the world, but it's one that can set the tone as he bangs his way out to the 38. Now on third down for this offense. 
Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. The Black Knights are stopped, but not before getting the first down. And the Black Knights are marching down the field. They're going to test that run defense to the right here. Strikes the blow. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. No question they wanted to get the ball to their playmakers, and both receivers have come up big through three. As we start the fourth quarter, it'll take a pretty sizable comeback to win this one. Finally, some signs of life from this offense, which has done nothing in the second half. It's first and ten. Get it out on the screen. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. I'll tell you what, if you want to be overzealous and you want to be a blitzer all the time, I like running the screen right behind him. Did a great job throwing the screen. Almost broke this one for a long game, but it just keeps the defense a little bit more honest if you want to start bringing a lot of pressure. Dropping back, it's Daly. Unloads to the wideout. Just a bit of a misfire there as they can't make the connection. Well, the defense really stepped up in this game. They knew they had to slow down this passing attack. They knew they had some matchups. They were going to have to win one-on-one. -on -one. They've been able to do that, and as a result, they haven't allowed 200 passing yards in this game. They come to the line three yards away from the first down marker. They've converted twice on this drive. Got his man! He's all the way down to the 27-yard line, and they are threatening. And I like having matchups outside like this. Guys that I know will win right away. Third down, find my guy, get him the rock. He gets the first down. Now on first and 10 from the 27. They'll go to the fullback. Bulls his way forward. Fullbacks, a.k.a. blocking backs, a.k.a. don't touch the football very often and usually don't go far down the field. But a nice, nice little chunk run here for the, for the fullback. Give him the ball, reward the big fella. This defense just can't get off the field. The offense unstoppable. The give to the big fullback. They wrestle him to the ground, but he's got plenty for a first down. And the fullback. This takes me back to my days growing up, watching the fullback, being on the field every single play. You don't see that anymore, but the big fella gets the football. Hey, he looks like he knew what to do with it, too. Nice little pickup, little, little, little agility, little, little uh, speed, but mostly a lot of just girth and strength and just grown man. He worked his way ever closer all the way down to the one-yard line. And the fullbacks, you know, usually are typically in there to block, right? Those are the big, strong guys that usually lead the way for the running back. But occasionally, you slip it to them. And you probably don't do it too much and don't make a living off it. But when you get a nice little chunk like this, maybe you find another way to give him the football. On the option. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Army! And you love giving it to the big boy right near the goal line, plowing ahead. You know he's going to put two hands on the football, lower his shoulder, second and goal. You don't need third and goal, thanks to the big fella. How about this? These guys are going for two. To the air. It's Daly. And they get him down. Well, every coordinator has a couple of two-point plays in his back pocket. They dialed one up there. They didn't get it. Let's see how that affects the outcome of this one. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. 
Here he comes from inside his own five. And the coverage team able to wrestle him down. Rice takes over the Owls, ready to get that offense cooking again. One running back in the backfield, and he has it. Weaves his way ahead and gets five out to the 18-yard line. You got to give the coaching staff credit because they really do focus all season long on situational football with the lead late in the game. If we're on offense, we're trying to stay in bounds. We're trying to bleed the clock. And after ripping off a really nice run, that guy knew I've got to get down. I cannot get pushed out of bounds, cannot get tackled out of bounds. Really, really nice job. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. The clock is my friend. If I can do this late in the ball game with a lead and I can continue to run the football and they have no answers, well, then I'm going to walk away with a win. So, listen, I wouldn't change a thing. I'd keep pounding the football, keep running the clock. The give to the left. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. They're trying to run the football. There's just nowhere to go for the ball carrier inside. He tried to bounce it to the outside. That linebacker way too fast. He met him there and forced the TF out. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Wide receiver coming across in motion. They've got him looking wide, but they're going to throw it. Moves around to clear up the vision. At the 40, there he goes. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. Hey, listen, it's important at that position to be able to be good off schedule. Everything's easy when it's on time. You can get the ball out, but when things break down and they get off schedule, you've got to have a guy back there that can make the right decisions. He did exactly that. On the ground, it's Connors. And he is swarmed under a host of defenders there to make the stop. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. The give to the tailback. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong, and I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage. They create separation. They wrap running backs up, and usually they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. From the gun, running back gets to give. And the defense had its hands full, but they finally wrestle him down short of the first down. Rice will be forced to send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines, not his best work. The cadets have it back as Army goes back on offense. You want to talk about a drive where you impose your will? That's what they did running it down for a touchdown, David. There is nothing more demoralizing than that for a defense. To be physically pounded. The run is coming. You know it's coming, and you can't stop it. Nothing the defense can do. That is mano -y mano up front, and your guys getting a push. They know you're running it, and they still can't stop it. After the incompletion, it's second down. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. Fires to the wideout. Tremendous awareness along the sideline and the ability to get the foot down for the big pickup. When you're going to run a comeback route, you've got to sell like you're going deep. And that was a great job there by the receiver, really making that corner think he was running deep down the field. So we got the corner to turn his hips, turn his shoulders, and then the receiver was able to just pivot around and make it an easy pass and catch. Off the play fake on first down. Throws to the tight end. They've avoided the interception all day, but they're lucky to get that one back here late. It'll be second down. Great coverage, great break on the ball. Had a chance to really make a big play and maybe even take that thing back to the house. But you got to secure the catch. We like to hit people more than we like to catch balls. Now second and 10. 
They're going to throw it again. Unloads to the right. He's got it. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. And let's hold on just a minute here as the officials are going to have a second look. There's just so much chemistry between this quarterback and his receiver. And you saw it right there, down the perimeter, trying to work the boundary. Just put it somewhere near him. He'll catch it. He'll get a foot down and help out his offense. Going to try to pop one on the screen. Not able to break the big one on that screen to the running back, but he found enough and a solid pickup on first down. Just keep giving him the easy catches until they do something to stop it. Yeah, you're going to dictate to the defense. You're going to make the defense cover him up, and then obviously it leaves the middle of the field a little bit more wide open for receiver for a tight end. So QB keeps making the right decision, getting the ball to the running back, and he's making plays. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Anytime you play this offense, the challenge is stopping this quarterback from running the ball. And you've already seen in this game, he's been able to break off a few runs and do some nice things. That time, though, the defense had his number and tackled him for a loss. Offense breaks the huddle. It's third down. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. Throws to the wideout. Just masterful working that sideline and getting the toe down for the catch. Third down. The coach wants the officials to have another look at the monitor. Using a timeout here, thinks the call is going to end up going his way. He spun that wheel of fortune by challenging the call, and it does not go his way, and he loses the timeout. The Black Knights will try to put one on the board on first and goal. They'll run the option. Push down for the tackle. They keep pushing forward. Now back to work on second and goal from the six. goes to the option he'll be brought down at the five yard line and this defense is on its heels and they'll come to the line trying to take a slice out of this lead on third and goal to the air it's daily using his legs, keeping his eyes downfield. They stop him short as he was trying to scramble and find his way to the goal line. You know, in these goal line situations, the field starts to shrink. It's easier to key in on these guys that you know can fly at the quarterback spot. Defense was locked in. Nice job on the third and goal. A field goal really doesn't do much for you in this situation, so they'll go for it on fourth and goal. Big fullback's got it. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Black Knights! There's nothing like seeing the hardest working guy on the offense get in for six. The big physical guy that blocks 99% of the time. You don't give him the ball very often. Reward the big fella for blocking his tail off. You gotta like that. Looking for the two-point try. They want to throw it. He's got it in the end zone for the two as they draw a little closer. So it's an 80-yard drive and finish the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. Kickoff team has the ball teed up and they're about ready to go. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Rice has the ball back, and they're ready to send the offense back to the field. 
They still have the lead here, Jesse, but this would be a good time to put together a drive. You're right, Reese. You can't rest easy right now. You just watch the opponent drive down the field and score a touchdown of their own, so you've got to answer that here. Your playmakers better step up. And I don't know what it is about momentum. In all the locker rooms, in all the years, coaching, everything, you can't quantify it, you can't measure it. And the momentum has swung to the other side. You've got to get it back. The gift to the back. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. If you're the defense, you know that running back is the guy you've now got to stop. He's had a lot of touches in this game. Yes, he's made a lot of plays, but you've got a chance to win here. If you're going to do that, you need to take him away. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Back to throw. It's Warner. Makes the grab down the middle. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands. Get it to your playmaker. A lot of times he'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here, but it was still a positive game. A third down try for the offense. From the gun, wants to pass. And the defense gets to the quarterback. The defense coming up big there, and the sack is great, but the secondary deserves some credit, too. No doubt. When you can cover like that in the secondary and drop back in your zone and only rush a few, and you feel comfortable getting home, and they're going to get to the quarterback, that is a great feeling, and that's fun to be a defensive coordinator calling the plays. Rice will be forced to send out the punt unit. He'll call for the fair catch here. Army has it back in the offense, ready to go. That last touchdown drive was surgical through the air, Jesse. It sure was, and that's why this offense is so dangerous, David, because they can score in a hurry because of how efficient they are throwing the football. And welcome to modern college football. That's what it is. Spread you out, find my playmakers, make quick decisions, and really put defenses in a difficult situation. And the Black Knights are in the hurry up. On second down, looking again to throw. And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. This was one of the keys to the game. Could this quarterback, could he extend plays and then make throws and scramble situations? That time, the defense was able to get to him and bring him down for a huge loss. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Back to throw, it's Daly. Unloads to the wideout. And it's incomplete on third down. After that incompletion, fourth and long now on your own side of the field, you're trailing in the fourth quarter. What's your go-to play call here in the passing game? Where is the matchup that you trust in to come up with a big one to give yourself a chance to stay alive and win this game? Down in the fourth quarter, it's too late for empty possessions. They'll go for it on fourth down can't find his man it'll be incomplete and that is a heartbreaker this late in the game looking to move it through the air grabbed in the middle it's Campbell they get it down to the seven on that pass play in prime position for a score this offense is not letting up guys they've got a lead here late and they are still taking shots they're still looking for explosive plays this defense just has not had an answer here all game long Operating in the red zone here on second down. A handoff. Keep working on that clock. He bullies his way all the way down to the five-yard line. We've reached a two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. Not a lot of ground to cover and not much to defend. A big third down in the red zone. To the ground to try to move the chains. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Rice. 
And, you know, late in the games, offenses sometimes get conservative when they got the lead and they got the ball. I love this offense. They were aggressive. They got another score added to the lead. Now you're trying to salt this game away. Now the two-point conversion attempt is coming. He stopped short on the two-point conversion attempt. They went right back to the well with the man who scored the touchdown, but he couldn't get it in for the two. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The cadets have it back as Army goes back on offense. To throw, it's Daly. Just a little off. Incomplete. Line getting set on second down. He's looking to throw. And the pass is incomplete. Jarred loose by the hit. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. From the gun, wants to pass. Snagged in the middle, it's Robinson. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. They didn't quite get that route run deep enough to pick up the first down. Now they've got a fourth and short. And I think everybody at home tends to yell at their television set. Why aren't you getting past the first down marker? Why did you run your route short? Defense did a good job knowing where that was. But now, fourth down, offense has to make a decision. On fourth down, going to the air. He's got it, and they convert. They immediately call timeout, trying to preserve every second they can to try to rally here late. The Black Knights will snap it on first and ten. He's looking to throw it. Unloads it left. It's caught. The offense gets a quick timeout at this point. Every second is precious. Now from the 48-yard line, it's first and ten. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. Looking left. It's caught downfield. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. Well, this offense has a ton of work left ahead of him here in this two-minute situation late in the game, but the drive off to a good start. You get the first down, you get out of bounds, you work in the perimeter of the field. That is exactly what you want to do. Looking to throw, it's Daly. He finds his man. And they pick up just a few on that completion. And defensively, this is exactly what you want, right? You got the big lead, so you can play big zone coverages. Just keep the ball in front of you. Keep your eye on the quarterback. Rally to the football. Gang tackle. And you're going to win this game. Everybody has to be set. They have to get it off. Double time. Hustling to the line to stop the clock. Ball spotted at the 27. They're facing a third and long to try to keep their hopes of a touchdown alive. He's looking to throw. They're trying to get to it. Trying to make magic on the scramble. Quarterback gets the first down and more. They'll use a timeout with 26 seconds left on the clock. 
these third downs, man, they're critical down in distances. When you have mobile quarterbacks, it's just so great to know that, one, they can get it throwing it for your offense, but two, if it's not there, they can take off and scramble and generate big plays as well. This guy now, because of his athleticism, he's got the offense knocking on the door inside the opponent's 10-yard you could clearly tell that he wanted to throw the football and he wanted to go through the air and make a big play. Defense does a great job corralling him, getting some pressure, and most importantly, getting him on the ground.